Hey guys, what's up? John here from FlyAtMikeAlpha.com and today we're here at the airport to go ahead and talk about these things right here. So, what is this thing? And if you don't know what it is, well, give me like, oh, I don't know, four or five minutes of your time and I'll tell you exactly what it is. So these things right here, these are PAPI lights, all right? So what PAPI lights are, precision approach path indicators, they basically help us get lined up to land. So they make sure that we don't hit the trees before the beginning of the runway. They keep us on the proper approach path, hence the P-A-P-I acronym. And so they're gonna help us follow that stable approach path down to our aiming points on the runway with, that we're so used to seeing. So how these things work, it's not like it senses your airplane and then tells you how high you are and changes color. Obviously we know when we come in from far out, they're uh, white and then red when we get low. So when we're high, they're white. When we're low, they're red. This thing right here, we can see if we look inside that lens there, it's red on the bottom, it's white up top. Red on the bottom, white up top. If I look at my hands here, as it's projecting on it, red right there, white up there. Red, white, red, white. It's just projecting the light at a different angle. And so this one, our very first one, is 2.53 degrees, 2.52 degrees. I'm sure if I stepped on this piece of pavement, 2.51, it would change slightly. It's set, we're not gonna touch it, that'd be very bad. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and look over here at the next one and we'll see what angle it's set at. 2.76, go figure, right? 2.75. Three point oh two, and three point three four, three point three three degrees. Now they set these very carefully using those little adjustment points right there, and then the FA comes out with a flight check airplane and tests it out. They make sure that it is in fact the right approach path and gives the right indications at the right point. So really sensitive instruments. We don't climb and play on these. We simply just don't touch them, leave them alone. And every so often they do have to be adjusted because obviously the ground settles, expands. In the winter time as the ground freezes, these things probably heave a little bit. But that's the point of these big cement pads is they're not supposed to heave and change much as the ground moves around. So ultimately Pappy lights are fairly simple the way they work. They send out two little beams. We got red down here, white up there. You fly right in between them basically, and you'll get that even blend of red and white. Two white, two red, or one white and one red. That's what you're really looking for. You can see as you get, you know, if you just fly level, it's gonna transition from red to white because you're eventually flying through that nice path that you're supposed to be following down to the runway. So that's really how they work. Any questions on it though, leave them in the comments below. Go to flyatmikeelf.com, click on the ask a question tab, and leave us a question for one of our CFIs to respond to you. I really just spent the rest of that day just, you know, getting yelled at at the airport for flying my drone there like I always do because no one has realized yet that it's totally legal to fly drones at airports despite the fact that it really is under part 107. Oh well. Um, but yeah, then went ahead and started all that work on the laptop, got it souped up with the SSD, the solid state drive, so we can do a whole bunch of video editing for you guys while we're on the road flying from Alaska to Florida, which is part of the new vlog series. If you guys have not already seen it, the link is in the description below. Go ahead and head over to the vlog channel, check it out. We've got an awesome new drone to do all this photography with. We've got a great new little GDL 52 that really is like super sticky too. It You can tilt it in all different ways and it won't slide off, but that should help us navigate and pick our way through the passes with Garmin Pilot from Alaska down to Florida, going through all the mountains and all the crazy weather we're gonna get. It's got ADS-B in, it's got XM weather in, uh, it's got you know little AHARs built in inside of it so you have synthetic vision and little backup AHARs, which is awesome because there's only one AHARs or one attitude indicator in the 170 we're gonna be flying on down. So. Check that out if you guys need a little study break. The vlog channel is really awesome, beautiful, amazing flying. And as always, if you can't fly every day, fly at MikeAlpha.com. We will see you guys in the next episode, maybe in the vlog too.